Is it just me, or does it feel a little bit like Nike are deliberately trying to spark conversation with their new jerseys? Now, this isn't something new in kind of marketing and getting people to talk, whether it's good, bad, or otherwise, but it feels like every Nike shirt that I've picked up so far this season, or for next season, has had something about it that might upset somebody. We've got this one that we're gonna look at today, this brand new Barcelona home jersey. We've got this one that I reviewed last week without that classic hectare stripe, the PSG Jordan home jersey. Sorry, it's broken. This one won't go on. Nothing I can do about it. Wizard powers are out, but this was controversial too. Let's take a look at this season's Barcelona home jersey and why it's not for everybody, but actually, I kind of really like it. All right, so we've swapped back into the PSG jersey. A lot of changing of clothes right now and we're going to take a look at the Barcelona jersey close up here. Now this is not a particularly controversial design in my opinion so if you take a look at the shirt you can see that it actually mimics the club's crest, the badge. So you've got the cross here, the St. George's cross and then you have that running just in this area. The smaller stripes, the Catalan stripes just here but obviously all in those classic Barcelona blue and red or blue and burgundy colors, but are they classic Barcelona colors? That is one of the things or the thing that seems to be really upsetting people. But moving down, like you usually have the FCB on the badge here, and I actually think that the sponsorship, the sponsor's logo, actually fills that space pretty well. And then we just run down into the classic stripes, something that I really like about this particular jersey is actually the fact that it is offset and you have the red or the burgundy running up this side and down into this sleeve with the burgundy coloring and then on this side you've got the blue that runs up the side of the shirt and into the blue sleeve now normally i'm not against i, I don't like different color sleeves on shirts and it's because they end up looking blocky because what you end up with is maybe a black shirt with white sleeves and things like that and i don't particularly like that but the way that this flows and the way it flows up into the blue and up into the burgundy on the other side i think just makes it look really really nice i'm a personally a big fan of the setup something else that i have really liked is the coloring in the nike swoosh and in the logo for the sponsor here because this isn't actually white it's kind of an off-white almost a creamy color and it just adds to the whole vibe of the kit that looks really premium and it just looks really classy i think it's a real classy kind of look and um, obviously you get the Nike kind of engineered logoing on the bottom here for a genuine Nike product on the back you've got the UNICEF logo again in that kind of creamy color which I really really like and then up the top you have those Catalan stripes again just up here which are a staple part of any Barcelona shirt and Barcelona as a city as a whole Barcelona and Cat and Catalonia as a region whichever area of the spectrum you fall on with Catalonian independence I'm not getting into that today let's concentrate on football shirts so why are people getting upset about this particular jersey well honestly I think it's just because people like getting upset about things I don't think this is that controversial at all. I think people are making a big deal out of nothing and paying a huge amount of attention to the colors that have been used. Now, of course, these are different to the previous season's colors and they're different to many other Barcelona kit colors, but people are making out like Barcelona have two set colors in the red and the blue, the different hues or the, the different tones that they actually use. And they absolutely don't. Barcelona have had a variety of different colors in or different shades of these colors on multiple kits. All you have to do is go back to, I think, the 16-17 season, the 10-11 season, and there's a much brighter shirt style that's been used, much brighter colors that have been used. And here, we've just gone for almost a slightly more muted 
palette and I think it looks fantastic. That kind of darker blue and darker red, which a lot of people are wanting to kind of uh, wanting Nike to use on Barcelona jerseys, the ones from the last couple of years. They're not essential to it being a Barcelona kit. Now, there's nothing wrong with saying that's what you prefer. There's nothing wrong with saying you don't like the design of maybe the badge on the badge on a shirt design. Um, but I don't think you can call out Nike or Barcelona for like being sacrilegious and this is the worst thing ever. And honestly, I think people just enjoy shouting about things and enjoy saying that they don't particularly uh, like things. Sometimes just to be different. Um, I ran a poll on my Instagram page. It's got a 50-50 like, not like reaction. So it's definitely pretty divisive, whichever side of the spectrum you fall on. And there's currently a poll on my YouTube community page as to whether you love it or hate it. So do go and hit that as well. But I must say for me, this jersey, the colors, the design, the badge within the badge, and especially combined with those half and half shorts, if you haven't seen them, I think they're fantastic, is a really good look for Barcelona for next season. I've had a thought. You're gonna have to hold on and bear with me because I need to go and find another Nike shirt because I've just realized something. Possibly. Stay there. One eternity later. Okay, I'm back. Now, two things. Firstly, and most importantly here, we need to have a look at the tags, the labels, because this is part of Nike's Move to Zero campaign, uh, which basically means that it's made from at least 75% recycled fibers. I did a whole video on this, so do check that out. And anything that moves our football jerseys, our football boots, to a more sustainable way of, produ of production or a more with more sustainable materials gets a huge thumbs up from me. So massive well done to Nike for committing to that for this season. However, the thing that I have just realized, I'm half right. I'm 50% of the way there. Check out the Roma away shirt from last season. Now I had two thoughts, one, sh one thought being this here, this color, this red would be the same as this, but it's absolutely not. Look at that. This is a really terrible angle. I should have taken the shirt off. <laughs> Look at that. Those are not the same. However, what is the same, I'm almost 100% certain of this. Look at the color of the jersey and look at the color of the Nike swoosh and the sponsor. If that is not exactly the same color, then I don't know what is. Look at that. I think that Nike have used exactly the same color on the Roma Away and for the detailing for this particular shirt. Now, this isn't uncommon. Nike reuse the same colors over and over again on a variety of things. Hold, hold on, have we got? No, not quite. I thought maybe the collar would match up as well. I'm desperate to desperate to find Roma connections in Nike jerseys at the moment. If you watch my uh, my Liverpool my Liverpool jersey review, but uh, yeah, check that out. What do you think? Same collar? I'm pretty confident. There you have it. First look at the brand new Nike Barcelona home jersey and a comparison to a couple of others. Do you think it's controversial? Do you think people are just shouting for the sake of shouting? And do you like it or not? Let me know down in the comments. Go and vote on the poll on my community page. But that's all from me here today. Get, get liked, no, get subscribed, like the video. And if you can support us, head to patreon.com forward slash boot wizard. That's all from me here today. Have a good one. And I will see you very soon. Thank you.